So the best practice is to create lead funnels on various platforms. You want to capture emails on as many sites as possible to increase your odds of growing your email list. So this includes your Facebook page. Once on Facebook, search the term MailChimp in the top search bar. On this search page, click the Apps button in the top nav bar, then click the Use Now button next to the MailChimp app. By doing this, you'll be able to pair your MailChimp account with a Facebook page. So you'll be redirected to set up your form. So just click on that button, set up your form. You'll be redirected to log into your MailChimp account. Then you'll land on this integrations page. On this page, click Facebook, add a sign up form to your Facebook pages and auto post campaigns. From here, you'll be redirected back to Facebook. Just click OK on this pop up window to continue as yourself. Again, click OK to allow MailChimp to manage your Facebook pages. Then you'll be redirected back to your MailChimp where you can choose the page to link to and what email list you want to use on this Facebook page. Again, this is a time to hyper segment your email list. So here I would create a new email list called Facebook Page Signups. This way I know which website is driving the most signups for me. Once you click that drop down and pick your list to use, email list, then select yes for the sign up form tab. This just creates a sign up form tab on your Facebook page. Then in the form theme drop down menu, select your list theme you built or click Facebook esque. I prefer using the formatted theme I built in MailChimp as the Facebook esque one is very bland and generic. Once you have this page ready, click the save button. As you can see on our Facebook page, under the more tabs, we have that email signup form now. I like to get the email signup tab out of the drop down menu so new users can see this tab right away. So click that more tab, then click manage tabs. Under the manage tabs, you'll be given the option to rearrange your tabs. So click and drag the MailChimp email signup to one of the top three positions so it doesn't stay under the more tab. I like to put it right under the about tab so it's in the center of the screen. So click save. Next, I like to make a Facebook cover photo that directs my audience to my MailChimp subscription tab. So as you can see, I have a header image here that has an arrow down to my email signup tab. So simply create an engaging cover photo that includes an arrow that points down to the email signup tab or the call to action button. So with the call to action button, we have to create that as well. When you're logged in to your Facebook page, just click that create call to action that is hovering over your cover photo on your Facebook page. In the create a call to action button pop up menu, click the choose a button drop down menu and select sign up. We're capturing emails. This is an email sign up. Now open up another tab and go to your MailChimp account. Click the email list that you want to get signups for. Once on that list of choice, click the sign up forms tab, then copy the sign up form URL. So this is the URL I'm copying. So paste in that MailChimp sign up URL, then click the create button. Now you can see we're allowing our Facebook traffic two options to sign up for our value offer. The email sign up and the sign up here. So now I should change this cover photo to get value offer X by clicking here, then paste an arrow into that cover photo and re-upload it to my Facebook page. Now click the settings link at the top right of your Facebook page. Click the apps in the left sidebar, then click the edit settings under MailChimp app to quickly access your MailChimp Facebook integration page. Here you can edit what list you want to link with your MailChimp and so on. 